moving on, we are into some uh, dependent on who you are and what your preferences are. This is bad or delightful <sighs> news. Uh, next two nights is officially ending, or it's it's basically we we know it's it's done and done. And actually, I was uh, speaking to some Norwegian retailers, and I was like asking around uh, about like what's happening with next two nights because I didn't see it anywhere. And uh, the the last wave of next two nights isn't even coming to Norway at all. Uh, no way. So that kind of so that kind of sealed the deal. So I kind of already felt this coming, and a lot of people have felt this coming so uh th- those those nexo knights those uh green <coughs> vampire techno dudes that's the very last nexo knights sets ever and the silver lining that a lot of people are um thinking when they are hearing this news is that um once nexo Knights is out uh that means we might get uh exo force or castle back we're not oh, gonna okay. get exo force that's not that's not <laughs> happening they hate it as much as as much as Bonkle. It's it's, it's a pipe dream. <laughs> um, but yeah, people are thinking we might get classic, uh, not classic, but like just a general castle theme back. Or, well, I don't uh, want people to be disappointed, so people should not count their chickens. But hopefully, it works out. I love counting chickens, so. I have, what are your thoughts on this? I have very mixed opinions on this. I I'm gonna Let's do talk about it. yeah. I'm gonna That's do what deal. I like to do for all themes nowadays. I'm going to grade this theme's performance on what I like to call the Bionicle scale to determine how okay. bad of a failure it actually was. Okay. So let's, let's take a look. When I'm judging this, Ninjago is obviously the modern benchmark for a very successful theme because it ballooned in popularity. Adventure theme. So came back after a cancellation, making a movie, all that jazz. Bionicle is the definition of, G2 rather, is a modern failure in the sense that it was projected for three years, it only lasted for two. And then for action themes, you obviously have the three-year benchmark where they say, okay, it's going to be a three-year line, then we reevaluate how it's going to continue from there. Uh, Chima lasted a full three years. Chima was the last, it was the action theme, I can't even talk, it's the action theme before this. The one that was supposed to be Ninjago's successor. It lasted a full three years or six waves. Nexo Knights came very close. It technically did get three years, but it only got five waves. That puts it firmly in the middle between Bionicle, which got four, Chima, which got six. So it under. A lot of people going crazy about how badly it did. I do not think it performed wildly poorly compared to their expectations just not enough to resume production or continue past their allotted point now not coming to norway is a very interesting thing that obviously does mean something unfortunate happened probably not coming to a lot of european countries probably not coming to most and i do think there was another way of planned i see a bunch of people talking about things they saw in concept art pictures or even just in the show, there were plans to conclude the Techno Vampires wave with new minifigures and new sets. The app had a lot of stuff that isn't going to come to pass, I guess. So it's going to come down to guesswork, really, about why it was canceled. So, yeah. so okay, so you're, you're talking about the Bionicle scale, and this is just, it's not how what people personally feel. It's not an objective scale on the sense that, like, this is if a theme was good or bad. It's Correct. just what does Lego, what has Lego decided how long this theme should stay around? Bionicle yep. was canceled prematurely. Ninjago was extended indefinitely. Yep. So those are our two benchmarks right now, right? Yes. This was squarely in the middle of an underperforming theme. Nexo Knights and Chima are very interesting because I feel like they were they're given a lot of good chances to succeed, and I don't necessarily know why they don't in terms of like don't be prolonged into the, the juggernaut that is Ninjago. Um, I, I mean, like I know Lego has a three year pitch, right, and that's what they normally do. Is this is Nexo Knights being canceled prematurely? Yes, because okay. it so it is three years took. It, it, a lot of people get confused about the differences between years and waves. A full three-year theme consists of six waves, one in the winter, right. one in the summer. Chima got that. Chima okay. was not canceled prematurely. Chima fulfilled but, its three uh, the years. Last, the last wave was not released in the U.S., right? Construction only. The system sets were released in the U.S. Okay. Um, All right. Mm-hmm. Nexonides only has five. 
and its fifth wave is not being released in Norway. So it has performed worse than Shima. We Probably know not just Norway, though. Just- uh, well, I mean, it could have been just like a thing where <coughs> it performed it performed as well, but they're they're doing you know they're cleaning up shop because Lego has seen some financial issues recently. Perhaps. I can tell that even just with word of mouth and popular opinion, Next Nights never really took off in any meaningful way. There was never much talk about it. You know, there was never fanfare or hoopla whenever sets came out for it. It was just, oh, these are cool. I wish they were classic space or classic castle. That's, Let's move on. That's very much the AFL opinion. I don't think we have any like, right. kids well, I mean, going like, around saying I, that. I would say, though, kids did not become a phenomenon. I, I would say that, like, well, I agree with you, Meso. I would have said the same thing about Ninjago from the TFL, AFL side of things while it was still going on for the first initial three years. Ninjago it wasn't was getting until accolades, we heard. though. Winning um, best in show at Toy Fair. Yeah, it's the year. Some nights, some nights. Love it. Love, love it. it. Hate it. Oh, oh never mind. Never mind. Oh, is bad. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you're 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 roboting out, X. But uh, I do believe that next night's won a award for the innovative use of the app and the mm. um and the and the toy. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure on that, and I don't I don't know if it was the best of show at Toy Fair or anything. I'd but I think it. they won a award or something like the that. The app was definitely their defining contribution that it's going to be remembered for. And I don't know. I just I I don't know. One thing that's really important, I guess, uh, one thing that like Lego is trying to figure out, and we it'd be it'd be well for us to try to figure out too, what makes a, a line succeed versus a line fail? What did Ninjago have that Nexo Knights didn't? That Shima didn't? Good question. Because there's, there's there has to be something. Wait, something. what Nexo Knights had, but Shima? What? No, no, no. Ninjago has flippant. something. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying that Ninjago has something. Um and Next Knights and Shima theming. don't. Theming. Is it theming? I will I I am not one hundred percent on this, but like that would be like my best guess if I had a gun okay. to my head. Because the thing is is that <laughs> it's 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 very uh, the Ninjago thing was really cool because they had something out there that people hadn't already capitalized on, you know, Transformers robots, you know. But ninjas are cool. You know, the everyone thinks that's like a cool concept. How that's long had it been since balance. there was like a ninja theme? You know, there's been there's been many ninja themes, and I uh, and it's also different from a lot of themes that they've done. And the thing with uh, next nights, I think, is that the theme was a bit in confusion as to like what it was. You know, because it was kind of sci-fi. Yeah. It was sci-fi, but it was kind of castle, and it was kind of like a very weird theme. It was also and, fantasy. Yeah, and it was also like. There was a lush there, and it wasn't I very... I feel like 100%. it was too similar to Ninjago in that aspect. Yeah, I think because, that too, because that's what a lot of people are saying, is that the sort of crazy vehicles and uh, yeah, enemies and everything, that, that's kind of their shtick. The mix of different genres, you know, it's like it's about knights, but there's a bunch of this and that, and then with Ninjago, it's a very similar story. Yeah, sure, it's about ninjas, well, but we got mechs, we got like <laughs> race cars one and thing, uh, pr- uh, snake Prentice. people. Prentice mentioned uh, in the uh, in the chat that like he didn't know why they would make a new story theme while they already had Ninjago, and I don't know if I necessarily agree with that in the sense. I do agree that like Next Nights might have been too similar to Ninjago, and that's what caused the once uh, downfall. But like that's what made it not as unique. But at the same time, I don't know if like having two story themes at the same time ruins something. Yeah, I don't think so um, either. I think it it's just the fact that Nexa Knights was so similar to Ninjago and uh, arguably uh, a little bit inferior to Ninjago because Ninja- Nin- Ninjago, what it has over Nexa Knights by far is just the years of uh, a fan, like a following, you know, it, mm-hmm. years of establishment. It's been out longer. People love it more. Uh, you know, people still collect it and everything. It's got a movie. Yeah. It's got more promotion than Nexo Knights. It's like the same thing, but it's like um, comparing Hero Factory to Bionicle. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I don't that's, know. Those, that's what I would those say. were never out at the same time, though. They weren't. They weren't technically, but um, I don't think Hero Factory performed nearly as well as Bionicle did. No. G one. Yeah. I. I mean. G one or G two. G one. That said, Hero Factory did outlast the three years. It did, right? It did, it did. But it was also the only construction theme. Like I, th- I feel like the the 
the, I think the biggest issue is, wasn't with Next One Nights itself. It was more about Ninjago still being present. Because mm-hmm. like, as you said, if 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 a kid already was attached to Ninjago and grew up with Ninjago, why? There's no big reason for them to uh, get invested in Nexo Knights. Yeah, it? because what though? they would get, you, you what they like would get what with Nexo Knights, they would essentially get with Ninjago anyway. And Ninjago uh, sets, I, I, I would personally say, are much better than um, Nexo Knights sets. That's in mean, general, like, though. Huh. I still feel I, like because if I have to boil it out. down, there's there's something else about next nice, but I will I will let John say his thing first. Well, no, I'm just trying to think like I don't. Then again, I guess I am thinking from a story perspective. I was saying that I don't think kids necessarily need one like t- they don't watch just one show and not watch any other shows. You can have two concurrent shows going. Yeah, but I'm I guess not what I'm taking story into account, account at all because yeah. story is not what saved. Bionicle. expensive product it's the it's the it's a it's set right the the, if you if you're trying to decide between if you want the new ninjago set and the next nice set that is a very real thing for yeah, kids chances your parents are only have a, a limited so budget. budget hey i have i sense. really like the green ninja and there's this new cool set with a green ninja in it you know why would i want this other weird looking car that's blue orange silver and all that <laughs> for the character that i'm not already yeah. familiar with that's when, the point like, these, i was gonna make you make a very good point eggs it's like my thing, my reason why Nexo Knights is gone, the sets just weren't there. That's not to say they weren't quality. Everybody who's bought some has said, wow, these are pretty cool. But it has always been the thing where no one is impressed by their pictures, at least internally within our group. This has been our experience. Someone buys one. Oh, wow, it has this really awesome function that wasn't advertised at all. <laughs> oh wow, it's pretty neat, but I had no clue it could do X or Y. Like, oh wow, thing. it looks way better in person than it does on, on the box. It did, right. it, their quality was not immediately evident from advertising, and I don't know why that is. Mm. I think a lot of it has to do with the distracting jumble of colors that they never fully got ironed out. That's been the number one critique from day one, and I think that that was all the way through the end. I think that's definitely it. None of the hero vehicles were appealing from an aesthetic standpoint. They clashed, they conflicted, they just didn't look as good as other action themes, particularly Ninjaga, which has consistent coloration for each of its main character. You do not have a ninja color that runs alongside their own independent colors, for instance. Mm. There is no trans-orange equivalent. Now, they were designed well, sure. They had tons of cool features, transformations, alternate models, alternate builds. Even the most recent wave of sets had cool stuff like the Berserker Bomber, where it had a Mixel mech, which can fold up. Had, and go had the, the best mech. There. Had the mech inside of the mech. You know, they have tons of cool ideas with Nexonites, but they're not presented in a way that kids will say, wow, I want this instead of this other thing. Nick. And, yeah. I... Well, everything I've said up to this point has been like the general consensus and like what I think is what turned turned them down in terms of like the overall appeal and everything. Personally, I 100% think that uh, I hate that Next One Nights is ending. I really love the theme just because of everything it brought to the table. Um, I think they are the definition of missed potential because um, they started out incredibly great, I feel. Um, if you look at these sets, which which I posted here, these these are great sets, and they brought something really cool, which we've never seen before in terms of the villains. Like the second um, Next Nights came out, the first thing that came to mind was what are they going to do with the villains? What are they? What's gonna? What are they going to introduce? What are they going to fight? And I thought that was really cool. But I feel the killer, what uh, essentially ended Next Nights, was the um, was the second wave because it basically um, filled in something that was already out there and that everything was gray. And if you want something that's just total gray, you can just buy Star Wars sets. So there's no reason to buy all these Maximize nice sets. And I they, they were bland. And I, and I, I am I am Way, and he's uh, getting uh, worse and worse. Yeah. X has achieved Nexo power. <laughs> <laughs> he's become Merlin 2.0. Nexto Trooper. Am I am I still Am I still it goes up and down. Down. It's going up and down. In a moment. Yeah. Am I understandable? Thought. Yeah, you're better now. Go on. Now okay. you are. You were not while you I, were just, going if, crazy. If you look further online and you go to this thing called the Book of Monsters, it shows you like it 
it shows you deeper into this whole next night world and all these cool villains. And I'm just going to show you this Look, one picture this. right here. If next two nights was successful and mm-hmm. they got to the point where they introduced these villains, that would be amazing. That would be incredibly cool. They could go deeper with their lore. It could expand and it could turn something great. Yeah, that but I think, really cool. yeah, right. You know, they, they had, uh, they yeah, had mushroom really cool. people as well. There's so many cool concept of characters oh. they can do. And, we haven't had this sort of like high fantasy um, uh, enemies that we have. And they just wasted that on these gray, weird looking things. Cause, cause like the, the good guys, they're nothing cool. The, the good guys in X Knights, they did not offer anything else that Ninjago already offered. They have like really weird, wacky vehicles in horrendous color schemes. You know, Ninjago got a ton of those. You know, it's crazy. And it's a fantasy. Uh, castle like theme and we never had anything on the sort of like a dragon you know they could have had something cool go there we had some cool mechs and it just it just feels like wasted potential and uh, everyone celebrating that next night is ending uh, and thinking that we will guarantee to get like space or castle is um, I wouldn't get my hopes up you're setting yourself up for disappointment because I went on Jang's video about Next to Night's ending and I was looking at the comments and he pointed out something very interesting. He mentioned a semi-realistic Lego medieval castle theme was actually ever-present from 1978 through 2010, followed by a sharp tapering off through 2011 and a single wave in 2013. Lego as a company that's out to maximize profits would not have actively pulled away from that theme if it was still selling well. It was not, and it still wouldn't today. And I find myself agreeing with that line of thinking. I don't think too many mm. kids are too big on the whole castle and princesses and dragons are already out it there. Might the, uh, it might be the it might be the fantasy thing. Are, like, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Are, it appeal to older collectors. Ninety percent of Lego sale, basically in U.S., are from the kids. Like AFOLs, they, there's no no. You know, it's I think like going straight toy. fantasy is the way to go. I don't think yeah, traditional I, medieval castle by itself will be enough to pull. Yeah. Right. So to close off on this with with Nexo Knight's hair, um, they, these are just gonna like we should go around and just give our closing thoughts. Otherwise, we'll just sit here okay. for three hours. But I will go out That's and true. say that Nexo Knights brought these uh, immensely cool uh, mech <laughs> frames with the ball joints. That's amazing. They also brought a lot of very small pieces. They also, for example, the eyes in the dragon Ven was talking about earlier, those were from Nexo Knights. They introduced a ton of great pieces, and most notably a lot of the pieces that was in this very last wave, which you will see in probably a year from now when I actually start posting mocks. I'll show you all the crazy cool stuff that you can do with all these Nexo Knights pieces, and the people celebrating Nexo Knights downfall will cry in despair because they won't be able to use those pieces because they didn't buy those sets. Those are my closing <laughs> thoughts. Next. Wow. My closing thoughts. I was never really impressed by Nexo Knights. Aside from the sets, like X, I recognized the first wave was had a, did a lot of great things, had a lot of great ideas, particularly the villains <laughs> and the Fortrex. Those sets are going to go down in history as really cool contributions. I feel like very little past that point was memorable. I watched five episodes of the show, and while it was very competent and very well made, it didn't really, again, offer anything that Chimo or Ninjago did not already offer you. And I think that's really the problem, and what LEGO is going to have to deal with with action themes going forward is giving them distinct identity. So they actually have a reason to stand on the market and say, hey, buy me. And I'm very curious where they go with it um, in the future. Agreed, John. Ben, I uh, here's what I think about it. I th- I think that Next to Nights is was poised to kind of be a, a successor or possibly a continuation of the original Lego theme and the idea that they're selling these concepts and stories alongside of these sets. Um, it's a thing that's been around since Bionicle. Um, Bionicle was, I feel, the first big hit Lego had that had an s- original story that went on with the sets. And Jago is the successor to Bionicle. And so far, it's been very successful. Um, however, 
with the way things are going out right now, the Lego Ninjago movie and even the Lego Batman movie underperformed the box office. Um, there are there was a point in time where Lego was poised to invest a lot into new original story series, which as a fan that likes the original stories, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, I know, you know, obviously a lot of people who are mockers look forward to the parts and I do as well, but not as much for me. The story content is what kind of keeps me vested and interested in a lot of these themes. And, uh, next nights, uh, Unfortunately, I, well, I don't know what it was. I did, and it wasn't even that I disliked the episodes. They just, the show didn't grab me as well. Um, and I don't know if, how everything's going to turn out. I think Lego should turn to traditional castle theme. I, I do think that there is a uh, a market for doing more stuff like, you know, the, what was it, the blacksmith you remember that the Lego idea set that never, I don't think it got, it went past the thing, but like having a blacksmith or kind of like building on the medieval theme and making more complex stuff with that uh, stuff may be suited towards that adult market. Because from what it seems, kids aren't really digging the castle stuff. We'll see if they bring back traditional castle as a, as a line, if it does well, but maybe that's the that architecture and stuff isn't driving well that with them. So there you go. Those are some very short, close thoughts. How about you, Vim? Um, nothing I can say that hasn't already been said. I basically agree with uh, all the points that John and Mesa just made. Except I, I do care less about story. I, I'll say that I'm a bit, a bit of a simple guy. If, if that looks cool, I'll get it. I have one final observation. Mm. What is that? Mesa? When I recall saying that the battle suits would be the future of construction if they were evolved to a point where they could actually function in that way. Go on. Well, they never got to evolve. <laughs> I'm um, curious if other themes will take that potential and run with it. Well, we have seen um, the like covering armor piece on those in other sets than next night. So there might I know be there's the Mr. Armor. Freeze mech that was very similar. It was not. Yeah, it was similar, but it didn't use it. Was, it was kind of more similar to the Sentinel from the X-Men set more than anything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very curious how that element of Next Nights will be established going forward. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more fun content from us, head to the link below to check out our archive channel where we'll be posting the full versions of all of our podcasts going forward. So I hope you go over there and check it out and have a great day.